Now the first step is to when you launch the game, uh, you can select this option which says play with DirectX 11. So select this one and then click on play and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then you can try these are in launch option. You can make a right click on the game, go to properties in the launch option, type in dash D3 D11. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can try dash DX11. Now again, launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can type in dash DX12, launch the game again, check if that does not work. You can remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check still not working. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game, manage, browse local files, and then you can make a double click over here and then launch the game from here. If that does not work, open write folder binaries win64 and then make a double click on this exe file and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. You can even try over here Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even go for Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check still not working. Try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to Perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Now go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on find. And on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver. Whichever is the latest GeForce Game Ready driver, uh, you can click on view over here and then click on download. And once the download is complete, you can run the exe file. Once the download is complete, you can run this exe file and then you can click on yes to allow, click on OK, agree and continue, select custom option, then click on next, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next. After the clean installation is done, restart your computer and then launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, you can type in graphic settings in Windows set box, click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on the game and over here select high performance again click on add desktop app open the right game right folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add and then scroll down find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game and then select high performance over here relaunch the game and then check Desktop users, make sure that you connect your HDMI cable or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot, and then check. Disable or enable Steam overlay, like you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and if this is on, you can turn it off, launch the game, and then check. If it is already off, turn it on, and then check. So try both, and then close all the other overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, go to NVIDIA app settings, turn off, turn off overlay. And then close, close all the overlay application. Do not overclock, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner, Riva Tuner, close it. Close all the third party application on your computer and then check. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, you can go to Microsoft website. Scroll down here, you can see Visual Studio file. You have to download this x86 and x64. Run both the file. Click on it. If you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. And let the installation complete. Once installed, you can close and now restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.